Hey guys, welcome again. In this particular session, we are going to talk about Tosca CI CD integration. So, this integration will allow you to run your Tosca scripts in your own CI CD pipeline. And it could be any particular CI CD integration tool uh, like Jenkins, GitLab, or any other tool. So, from the later versions of Tosca, like 15.2. Tosca has introduced a new CI CD integration uh, client, which is known as Tosca Execution Client. So you can basically trigger your tests via this Tosca Execution Client, which is only a command line tool. So you can handle everything through the command line, right? Now, this option is only available with uh, DEX with AOS. Now we have already seen how to set up DEX with AOS and run our test events through uh, a DEX agent, right? Uh, now uh, we'll try to do the same thing, but we'll try to run it through the execution client rather than uh, triggering, triggering it from the workspace, we'll be triggering it from the command line. So uh, let's get started. So first uh, we need to download the Tosca execution client. Now for this, uh, you can go to Google and search for Tosca execution client and there you will find this github.com tricentis tosca execution client page okay so this particular tosca execution client is hosted on github with all the documentation and also the actual client right so if you go through this uh, page uh, you will get the client you can download it and then uh, it also provides you uh, with a proper description that it allows you to trigger tosca test events from ci cd pipelines or other environments okay it is an out of box a solution okay so this you can run it from anywhere basically right so you can run it from a linux system as well also as windows system as i said it is only supported in tosca 15.2 and above so if you're working in on the older versions you will not find this functionality okay the requirements system requirements are pretty simple um, you can run it in both um, both the systems either in windows or linux okay uh, in Lin in windows it is the client is powershell script and in linux it is a shell script so you can download uh, both the options if you are working on a windows or a linux system um, the most important thing uh, once you download this is you need to set this powershell execution policy okay if you are working on a windows machine uh, we'll see how we can do that for linux there is a separate configuration so that's the prerequisite and then to run the tosca execution client uh, we need to execute this particular command okay so it is basically calling the powershell script and then uh, you need to pass the tosca server url the project name um, and then you can pass different events okay so you can execute multiple test events or a single test event on a linux based system this is the command so you just need to copy and paste this command and then replace this values like the tosca server url the project name and the events okay so these are the mandatory parameters so the tosca server url url of your tosca server right the project name the project root name of your tosca project where your test event which you are trying to execute and then the events so basically it is a json array of all the test events which you want to execute okay and then the events config file path path to the json file that contains the event configuration so there are basically two ways of running this one you can directly pass the events and one you can also pass a json file and then the file path okay then there are some optional uh, parameters like the ca certificate uh, it is only required if you are using https then the client ID, client secret, again, these are based of, on HTTPS if your connection is HTTPS, uh, client timeout, okay? Then um, execution environment, the execution ID, um, you can also put a polling interval, which means it will uh, wait for some time, or you can uh, request timeout or uh, retries, retry delay, uh, results file name, so where do you want to save the file name okay this is by default saved in the same folder but if you want you can also save it in somewhere else uh, you can define the folder and file path for those results you can also deactivate the login logging right which is done 
then the log folder part um, and all of these optional parameters which you can pass apart from this but the main parameters or mandatory parameters are these four parameters okay so uh, this is what uh, we need to do uh, the first step is as i said we need to download this execution client i'll be working on the windows system uh, because we have already set up our dex um, and also our dex agent our dex server everything is on one windows system right so uh, here uh, you need to make sure that you are selected on the main branch and then you need to go here into the code and then you need to download it as a zip okay so do that and once it's downloaded then i'm going to extract this here okay and then i'm going to copy this and i'm going to save it somewhere so i've got this c execution folder where i'm going to save this okay and i'm going to rename this to tosca execution client inside this you will find that readme.md file and then this is the execution client tosca execution client when it is a windows powershell script okay so yep so that's it about downloading the execution client once we have that right now let's go ahead and start our PowerShell. So here is the PowerShell and the first step which we need to do is set the execution policy. Okay, so by default, uh, this execution policy is uh, set to undefined in, in your system and it will not allow you to execute the script. Okay, for that you need to uh, basically do this. So we need to set execution policy and we need to set the policy to bypass and the scope will be local machine okay so this is the command you need to run now okay um, it will ask you whether you want to change this execution policy and there are some security risk but uh, that's fine we want to execute this script okay so once this execution policy is executed then we can run our execution script okay now this is the command uh, which was there okay so it starts with this powershell script it calls this and then we give the parameters okay so this is the tosca server url you can see so localhost 80 now it could be anything depending on your server address just uh, take your ip and uh, paste it here with the port okay and then the events um, so in the event I just want to execute this one event which is sample you just need to give the test event name then the project name uh, which is multi-user okay now if I go back to my uh, Tosca project you will see this is the multi-user project and then you know, under test events I have got this sample test event I have created this uh, it is uh, it has got a dex configuration which is a dex uh, which is a dex agent and then it will execute this login script okay so this is how uh, you can execute it on the tosca execution client so now just copy this but first uh, we need to go to that particular folder where that execution client is otherwise you will get error that it is not executable okay so first uh, we are going to go here right and then we are going to execute that particular command so let's copy this and then come here and okay and then execute so you will see that um, it will start execution and uh, it will successfully enqueue the execution or the dex event it will start the execution okay and then it will complete the execution and um, it will store the results as well okay so you can see on my screen uh, the swag labs um, screen has opened and it is going to log in into this that was my test script and it is being executed from the command line tool which is tosca execution client okay so the execution is now complete and the same you can see here um, it has already executed this okay 
So this is the recent event which I have executed. Right, so it, it executed it from the execution client. And then it will also store the results, as I said. Okay, so if you go into the Tosca execution client folder, uh, you will see it has stored in the logs. There is the logs, okay? So if you want, if there is any error, you can go through this uh, logs part to debug any particular issue. Or um, if you want to see the results, there is the result in XML file. So I can open it with any particular browser. Okay, it, it is not the best format as you can see here, but it tells you, uh, so the test suit name, uh, the tests, uh, how many failed, how many passed, uh, the time taken so all these details are here okay so it it is xml format but uh, you know you can uh, always convert it into a proper format or if you're using a cicd client like jenkins you can always uh, do the reporting using this xml file okay so this uh, particular client is made for your cicd pipelines so that you can integrate it easily with any cicd client right and then it is much faster because it is not dependent on your machine or any other uh, configuration it is just running from a command line tool like powershell right and then uh, if you have jenkins configured then you can easily call this powershell script uh, by just uh, creating a jenkins build and then um, calling this powershell script just like how we have done in our local we'll be doing the same thing in the Jenkins. Now let's jump on to uh, Jenkins and let's see how we can execute the same thing not from the PowerShell but from a CI CD client like Jenkins. Okay, so uh, I am in my Jenkins, you can see here. So we need to create a new item and let's name it execution client or okay. And then create a freestyle project here click on ok and then you can fill the description all the other options are really optional okay because we will not be using all of these options the main option here is the build steps okay and we need to add a build step here you can see there are different types of commands which we can run here and one of them is powershell now if you are not able to see this option uh, go into your uh, tosca plugins and then download this particular plugin called PowerShell. Okay, and then you'll be able to execute the PowerShell commands here. So now uh, we can execute this PowerShell script here. Okay, and we are going to enter this here. But before that, as you remember, we need to go to a particular directory, right? So I'm going to go to that particular directory here where our execution client is present, right? So these are the two uh, lines of script which we want to execute on this PowerShell, right? And then uh, I'm going to save this and go back to my dashboard. So this is the Jenkins build which uh, we are going to execute, okay? Now here I'm going to click on build now and it will start the build right away. Okay, so this is our build and then uh, we can go to the console output and you can see the same logs are being generated when we executed this on a powershell uh, as a powershell script it was generating this logs and now you can see it has opened uh, the demo website where it is going to execute this particular script right so everything remains the same but now uh, we are able to integrate our script right from a CI CD client like Jenkins. You can use any CI CD client as I said. You just need to make sure that in your build step, you are executing that PowerShell script command. Okay, so that's all is required in order to integrate your Tosca with any particular CI CD client. Now, um, let's wait for uh, this execution to get over, okay? And uh, now you can see it has finished as success and you can see it has also written the execution results to this particular file, right? 
so see execution um, and results and this xml file okay now as i said uh, if you're not able to find the powershell option in your build step then uh, you can go into your dashboard and from there you can go to manage jenkins and go to plugins and then you can go to installed plugins okay here uh, i have already installed powershell you can see powershell plugin if uh, this is not present for you then go to available plugins and then just type powershell okay so for me it will not show because uh, it's already present in the installed plugins but uh, once you type this powershell you will get that plugin and then just select it and then install it okay so that's all you need to do okay so this is how you can install the powershell plugin if you want uh, now few other things which you can do uh, obviously is if you want to view a particular report for this particular build okay apart from the regular logs which are present or the xml report which is generated you can always download the xml plugin or any other reporting plugin which can basically give you um, a better report if you want to see it in your jenkins build okay so those things uh, you can always do but this is how you can use the tosca execution client to integrate your tosca automation test suite with any particular ci cd client and then you can also integrate this with a ci cd pipeline where your development changes can be tested directly uh, with your tosca test cases if your team is using the same uh, ci cd client like jenkins or anything else that will be part of the pipeline and once there is any code change then that will be a trigger which will execute uh, your tosca test cases right so this is all about uh, ci cd integration um, in tosca with dex uh, and aos so you can also set it up on your uh, tosca machine similar to how i have shown you